Dancing with Music Junkie Press. We're down here in San Francisco, one of our favorite spots, DNA Lounge. Tonight we're here for a special event. We had the Rock and Metal Jingle Fest, right? And Jingle welcome, Rock Jingle Fest. Jingle Bell Rock yeah. Fest. And guess what? We got the gentleman from Ricky and the Swedes. Welcome. Hi, how's it going? Can you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm I'm Ricky uh, Sweet. Of oh, Ricky and the Sweet. I'm Ricky Sweet with a T. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I play guitar in the band, uh, and yeah, man. My name's cool. Arthur. I'm the lead singer of Ricky and the Sweets. My job is basically to set him up for an epic solo. <laughs> you guys did a great job. Great Thank you. set out here. Sunday night, and you brought all the energy. Yeah. I had a I personally had a fun time. I was like, <laughs> we're from out of town, and we're really surprised that people even showed. Like, and where are you guys from? Uh, I'm, I live in Monterey currently. Uh, so like half of us live in San Jose, and then half of us live in Monterey. So you guys all came up for the dance. Yep. Large commute. Community, yeah. Yep. Definitely. So uh, I don't know. Ricky told me this story, right? So you have to make these like long trips, right? He told me the story. He's like, man, I, I came out of this party and I really wanted to masturbate, and uh, like he went and did it in a bush, right? So I'm doing this like long, one hour drive from Monterey to San Jose, right? And I'm like. And Ricky pops in my head because I'm falling asleep. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I, I, get, I get this idea, right? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put, throw some porn on and put it on my dash. <laughs> Dude, all the way, one hour, I was awake. <laughs> I was awake. <laughs> It's a good touring trip. It was like though, right? he called me to tell me that it went in. He was like, "Dude, I drove all the way home watching porn because I thought of you." Like, <laughs> then your first thought, "What?" Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, "What? What do you? What's your fetish, man?" <laughs> You'll have to create, you know, these great uh, tips to stay awake. You'll have to have your own little guidebook for all the tour tips, right? Right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I hope we're not doing that in the same van. I mean. I don't know. <laughs> we can just throw a blanket over each other. We're, uh, we're working on our EP. It mm -hmm. uh, should be coming out in January, at the end of January, if uh, everything is, if everything goes right, you know? We're just trying to get it to a point where we're all comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we've been writing, God, a lot of songs. We've gotten a little bit more poppy and a little bit more experimental with the funk. Mm -hmm. Very but, cool. uh, We've, we cap it all under the name Sex Rock. Sex Rock, I love it. <laughs> artist or song might be most surprising for us to find in there? Oh, not out of my iPod? Either of them, yeah. Dude, I've been really listening to Stone Temple Pilots. Nice. I've just been like really digging his style, the way he expresses himself with his guitar. And, like, it, it's got Waylon's fucking on. Yep. He's just fucking rocking up on there. He's like, yeah, I'm not myself. <laughs> very cool, very cool. I have it on yours. Um. <laughs> One Direction, uh, <laughs> Time, uh, a lot of pop artists like R. Kelly. Oh, D'Angelo. I'm, I'm big on D'Angelo. I wish, I wish I could get myself to a point to where I'm singing like <laughs> sexy R&B. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Do you guys have any uh, more shows coming up pretty soon, or just working on the EP first? Uh, we have one at the end of the month on the 26th at San Jose at Random Lounge. Uh, it will. Our drummer um, recently got into some health issues, and uh, the drummer that played with us tonight is in town, and uh, he's awesome. But uh, so we're kind of freezing it throughout January and feeling out where that guy's going to be uh, throughout the month. We wish him definitely good health to him and everything. And yeah. Guys, yeah. Definitely. Now with the holidays coming up on us, how about a couple holiday questions? What's maybe the oddest gift you've ever received? The oddest gift, but the best gift I received <laughs> was this, uh, so it's plastic on the outside and you pull it open, right? But it's four fret guitar neck and you can practice your scales on it. And I, I lost it for a really long time and he helped me move. <laughs> and then just the other weekend, just, hey, I found this. And I just like <laughs> jumped up and like, yes, I can practice all the time now. <laughs> I yeah, love it. I love it. <laughs> it was awesome. But, yeah, it's cool. It's Very cool. cool. 
I'm uh, kind of allergic to Christmas. I like am scared of it. But I mean, like if I get something, we're just not good for anything. Any occasion. I got a. Uh, Fleshlight, a Jesse Jane fleshlight for Christmas. Year. <laughs> and oh my god, I spent the entire weekend using it. And it was like at the end of the weekend, it was me like fleshlight in hand, exhausted on the on the bed <laughs> with a dried up bowl of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and, like eating and going at it. And, oh my god. Yeah. More tour tips now. So you can have more tour tips here. Oh, I'm sorry if this is inappropriate. Nah. And do the tour guide for everybody when they go out on a yeah, tour. Right? Here, here's a tip how to stay awake, how to occupy your time. <laughs> Keep yourselves busy, uh, right? Yeah. What about your favorite holiday movie or song? Uh, uh, holiday music gets annoying once your work keeps playing it all the time. And you're just like, Jingle Bell Rock, Jingle Bell Rock. Oh wait, those aren't the fucking lyrics. But, dude, it's bad. I, I like it though, I like it. Beyonce has a Christmas yeah. There's another surprise in that iPod though. That's yeah, 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 that's yeah. I'm, I'm wearing a glass jaw shirt. This is probably my favorite band. Um, but you know, I definitely have moved into appreciating pop for what it is because of the simple arrangements you can like just enough. Um, and hopefully you can bring that amongst all genres. Yes, definitely. And you see a lot of that happening these days. I mean that's the other part is you know. I think we're finally coming out. There's so much good music out there, and it's a variety of music. And pretty much, you don't have to limit yourself to one genre. You don't yeah. have to call yourself a classification of anything. It's yes. you know, pretty much, I enjoy music, and whatever it is, whatever you play, and that's what your music brings out. You guys got a little blend going there that I yeah. think is you're opening up the doors to you know lots of different fans, and at the same time, letting them experiment. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Same I love thing. it. Well, definitely, we look forward to seeing you guys here in the new EP. And we'll see you guys back out on the road, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. totally. Thank, you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Aha! We are Ricky and the Swedes, and if you're addicted to music, get your fix at Music Junkie Press. <laughs> <laughs>